Hi guys, happy Monday, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you are all having a great and wonderful day. And I hope it's filled with so much love and happiness. We wanna make sure we are being so kind to each other and our, our friends and our substitutes today. I wanna make sure we're still showing our growl. I cannot wait to hopefully hear all the wonderful things you have been doing and the great choices you've been making. Because remember, we're trying to show our growl so we can earn back doing star student. Because we don't want to be the only class not doing star student anymore. We really want to earn that back. So let's make sure we're making those wise choices. All right, so last week we talked about becoming an expert on something. We talked about how we can do that with a normal book like this or how we can do that on a website called Pebble Go that has lots of information on nonfiction things. All right, so today we are going to talk about how we can learn new words in nonfiction books. Okay, so remember when we were talking about how there are different things in nonfiction books? like sometimes we see bold words and those bold words are normally important words and sometimes they're new words words we don't know anything about maybe sometimes they're even written in a different color in the book and so those are words that we may not know and they're new to us but we can learn those words and become experts on them by using can you remember pull out that schema think the glossary so we can always turn to the back of the book that's where we find the glossary in the back of the book and it will tell us what those new words that maybe we don't know mean so we can become experts and so we can learn lots of new vocabulary words all right so first we're going to turn back to the book we were looking at the other day about underground homes and then we are going to look at a Pebble Go book also. All right. So remember here, we have our book about underground homes. So remember when we were looking through the book, sometimes we ran across words that we didn't know what they meant. And in this book, the words, were sometimes read like the word rodents. And so I turned to the back of the page and I went, rodent, what is that? And it tells me how to pronounce it, rodent, rodent. A mammal group that includes hamsters, mice, and squirrels. Okay, all right, well, that was interesting. I didn't know that word before, but now I do. And I know exactly what the word means. All right, so I can continue going through here and look, I have found two different kinds of words. One of the words is big and bold, and it's darker than all of the other words. This is a bolded word, and it is predators. Then there is another word here, and it is in red. And so that's another word that we can learn about. This word is warren. Remember, that's what rabbits live in. And remember, they live in there to stay away from predators. So maybe you didn't know what those words meant and we wanted to learn those new words so we can use them later on. So we can look on here. Okay, predator. And it tells us how to pronounce it. Predator. An animal that hunts other animals for food. Okay, that makes sense. So bunny rabbit is trying to stay away from things that might eat it. And a warren, this is where it said it, it lives. Warren. A rabbit's underground home. Okay, so I can turn back to this page and I say, all right, rabbits live in a warren. That's their underground home. And they stay there to stay away from predators or things that might hunt them to eat them. All right, that all makes a lot of sense. We have learned a lot of new words. And if I continued reading this book, I could find lots and lots of words that are either red or bolded. And I can find those all in the glossary. So now we're going to go back and look at Pebble Go. All right, so in Pebble Go, remember there are not just things about insects and ladybugs, but there's lots and lots of information here. So I can click on something else. So maybe I want to learn about mammals. All right, well, what kind of mammal 
do I want to learn about? Oh, let's learn about wild cats. That sounds cool. Okay, what kind of wild cat do I want to learn about? Let's learn about Bengal tigers. That sounds interesting. Okay, so remember when we are on Pebble Go and we are looking for new words that we can learn, they are in red and you can click on them and it will give you the definition. The glossary comes to you like that. It's not like at the very back. It says Bengal tigers are large wild cats. All right, well, what is a wild cat exactly? If I click on it, it will tell me a wild cat is a wild member of the cat family. Okay, that makes sense. It's just a cat that is wild. That probably could not live in your home. I definitely would not want a Bengal tiger living in my house says their coats are orange with dark stripes. Males can weigh up to 500 pounds. Holy moly, that is very big. A tiger can be six feet long. That is taller than I am. And the tail adds another three feet. Oh my goodness, that, that is almost as tall as I am. So then I can learn about its habitat. So remember, you can also click on the little speaker and it'll read to you. So most Bengal tigers are in India. I didn't know that. That's where you could find these tigers. So not here. They live in other parts of Asia too. That's a whole other continent away. Tigers live in rainforests and grasslands. They hide in tall grass. They quietly watch their prey. Okay, so they're hiding in this tall grass to catch something called prey. What is prey? I'm going to click on the word says prey is an animal hunted by another animal for food. The glossary definition, that's what the word prey means. Okay, so that makes sense. They're hiding, they're hunting, they're trying to catch these tiny animals that are their food. It says their stripes help them blend in. All right, so now I can read more about their food. It says that tigers are carnivores. What does that mean? A carnivore is something that eats animals can be a plant or an animal. Okay, well, that makes sense. So tigers like to eat other animals. They hunt deer and wild pigs. They eat buffalo and antelope too. So all of those are animals that are made of meat. So that makes them carnivores. They stalk, what does that mean? It means to hunt an animal quietly. Yeah, because they don't want the animal to run off. They want to make sure they get it their prey. Remember, we clicked on prey earlier. It was an animal hunted by another animal for food. Then they pounce. Tigers use their sharp claws or bite the neck of their prey. Oh, I remember. I learned that word. It's a new word for me, but I learned it and it was an animal that gets eaten by another animal. I remember that. All right, so let's cycle. learn about the life cycle. It says a female tiger usually has two to four cubs. What? What is a cub? Is it talking about bears? Do they have bear? Oh, no, it's a young tiger. Okay. The mother raises the cubs. There's that word a bit again, but remember, it's young tigers. And it says the cubs or the young tigers stay with her for a few years. She teaches them to hunt. Bengal tigers can live for 10 years in the wild. All right, so here are some fun facts. Bengal tigers are also called Indian tigers. Remember, because they live in India. I remember reading about that, about their habitat. A female tiger is called a tigress. That's pretty cool. No two Bengal tigers have the same stripes. That is very awesome. And remember, if I wanted to read more, I could read about lions or a mer leopards that are also wild cats. So I learned lots of things. So guys, there are lots of ways to learn more words in nonfiction books. So we have glossaries both in the back of our book that lets us know information or definitions about the words that are bolded or dark or maybe that are in a different color. And also, we can see that on Pebble Go. If we just click on those red words, it'll tell us all about those words that maybe we didn't know 
but now I know them. I learned so many new awesome words today, and I hope you did too. So if you are reading today and you are looking at a nonfiction book, I want you to make sure we are looking and trying to figure out what do those words mean so we can become experts and learn new words together. All right, guys, I will see you again very soon. Bye for now. Remember to be on your best behavior and have a very happy Valentine's Day.